I hope you're having a great day and I hope you're staying safe at home. Uh, today I want to talk about a question that so many people ask us from around the world. That Luke, you know, you keep talking about gut health, you keep talking about bloating, you keep talking about gas. What about smelly farts or flatulence? You know, sometimes when I pass gas, it smells. There's a lot of smell. Does this mean I have a problem? Do I have an issue with my gut? Do I have inflammation in my gut? So let's break it down. What exactly is your body or your gut trying to tell you when you have smelly gas? Now passing flatulence is normal. You can pass gas 14 to 18 to even 22 times a day and it's absolutely healthy. Sometimes when we overeat, we automatically know that we're gonna pass more gas. Sometimes when we're on certain medications, we pass more gas or the smell of the gas changes. Let's understand a little bit about digestion. It happens with certain foods and in most cases, smelly farts are absolutely okay. Okay, I'm talking from the scientific point of view. In society, I don't know how that's gonna be accepted. But yeah, even children have smelly farts. Many children have smelly farts and sometimes it could be the body giving us an indicator like children who are lactose intolerant. So if lactose cannot be broken down or fermented in the gut, what happens is it stays for a longer time in the gut because it's not getting digested, it ferments. And when it ferments, have you ever fermented anything and smelled, smelled it? There's a smell, that's the fermentation process. Now when you have cruciferous vegetables, like you have kale, you have broccoli, you have cabbage, these are super healthy vegetables when cooked or steamed. But yes, they contain sulfur, number one, and sometimes sulfur slips into the process of fermentation and that's why you have the smell like of rotten eggs. What does rotten eggs smell like? You know, hydrogen sulfide, sulfur again. But these are also very rich in fiber. And fiber, as you know, doesn't get digested in your system. It ferments in the gut, which is also good for your gut. So if you have the right amount of fiber fermenting in your gut, the byproduct is something called scaphas, which is short chain fatty acids, which is therapeutic for your liver, for your gut, for your immune system, for lowering inflammation. So all smelly farts are not bad for you. Now let's understand. So let's say you have rajma, chana, your legumes, your lentils. It makes a lot of us gassy. Now, if it continues to make you gassy all the time and smelly farts and a lot of bloating, then you probably know that this food may not be good for you. What could your body be telling you? That I have a leaky gut syndrome, I have an issue with the bacterial microbiome in my gut. So we always listen to our bodies for it to give us the right signals. That's why we like to soak our grains, our lentils, our legumes. You want to really soak it 12 hours, 14 hours. Sometimes people double soak it. Sometimes people soak it with a little bit of vinegar, with a little bit of hing, which is asafoetida. Some people even put a little bit of ginger, sliced ginger while they are soaking it because this mo removes the anti-nutrients, which makes it more difficult for you to break it down in your system. So what happens is when there is undigested food, it starts to ferment in the gut. It's not always a bad thing, like I said, but now let's say you have smelly farts and you have a lot of bloating when you eat a particular food. Now your body's trying to tell you something about that, okay? So it's very, very important for us to understand that our gut, it's like another level of a factory working in your body, right from digestion to fermentation. So I eat something, it gets digested. My stomach acid breaks it down, comes into my intestine, the microbiome recognizes it. I have, to have, the, I have to have the right amount of bacteria to break it down. If I don't have the right amount of bacteria, let's take for a, cl a classic example of a person who's on antibiotics. The antibiotics in its honest attempt, attempt to kill the bad bacteria or the infection will also kill your good bacteria. So now you're left with a microbiome which is depleted. So when food comes down and it needs to be digested by your microbes, your microbes in your microbiome digest food, but you don't have enough of it. So what happens? We start to feed the wrong microbes or we start to keep undigested food or particles in which can cause a leaky gut or it can start fermentation in the gut and that's why you have really smelly farts or really smelly flatulence. So again, it's bio-individuality, recognize. When do I make smelly farts? Like on the days that I have a particular grain, a legume or milk or gluten and you have to break it down. On the other days when you pass gas, if it's not smelly, okay, your body's telling you that everything was just perfect. Fermentation has to happen. A lot of people say, Luke, how do I stop fermentation from happening? If fermentation doesn't happen, you're gonna get awfully sick. Your gut's gonna actually collapse. Fermentation has to happen, and the byproduct is a gas. If you ever pass a fermentation plant, like they do fermentation of grapes, they do fermentation of certain vegetables or fruits, or like um, I'm in Goa right now, sometimes you go through a village and you get this awful smell. 
You wonder what it is and they're fermenting cashews to make cashew feni. But it smells, the fermentation process allows a lot of gases. So that's the main reason why we have that. The second reason why you have smelly farts, and this is something that you need to do something about, is constipation. Think about it, okay? You poop and you don't pull the flush. Go back into the bathroom 10 minutes later, the bathroom's gonna smell gases from your poop and all of that stuff because you didn't flush it down. Now imagine you're constipated and that same poop is in your system. It is fermenting in your gut, in your large colon, you're absorbing a lot of the toxins back into your blood, which is why constipation is not a good thing to have and you should be making lifestyle changes or whatever changes to get rid of it. And those gases build up. When gases build up, they have to come out, right? How do, how, how do they come out? In the form of your farts, in flatulence. So sometimes your smelly farts could be because of constipation. Fix the constipation. If not, and it's happening once in a way, it's absolutely fine. Whenever you have a smelly fart, reflect. What did I eat four hours ago, eight hours ago, sometimes even 12 hours ago? Because digestion is, is slow, right? The fermentation is happening. And then that's absolutely okay. Soak your lentils, soak your legumes. If you continue to have a problem, sometimes there are, some, there are particles called lectins in dals. And that can irritate your gut more and more. So sometimes we even have to stop certain patients who are not healing from a colitis or a Crohn's or an IBS or a stomach issue or a leaky gut syndrome. We even have to stop their lentils and their legumes because their gut is too weak to handle it. And then as you build up the microbiome and you increase and improve their digestion, they can slowly start to introduce those dals or those legumes and lentils back into their uh, diets. The same thing with nuts. That's why you are uh, advice to soak your nuts because they contain something called anti-nutrients that come in the way of digestion and they block the absorption of the good nutrients from the almonds or walnuts into your system. So don't worry about smelly farts. Now with children who cannot talk yet, young babies, if they're farting a lot and it's smelly, you probably know it's signs of colic. And if it continues and they're in pain, you may actually want to see if they're lactose intolerant. A lot of babies are lactose intolerant. So then at least you can choose to change from lactose to what doesn't affect them and your baby has comfort and their stools will automatically start to change. Sometimes if you have smelly farts, you're not constipated, you're eating the right foods and everything's okay and it persists, you want to see your doctor. You want to get a stool test done because sometimes there are bacteria or there are small polyps in your colon that can cause obstruction to a stool passing out and fecal matters remain in your system causing smell again. So that's about it. You don't have to be worried about this unless it's consistent. But everyone farts, everyone passes flatulence. If it's gonna be a smelly one, I think all you gotta do, all you gotta be is good at making sure it's not loud and smelly. Have a great day everyone. Until next time, eat smart, move more, sleep right and breathe deep and remember you care is all about you.